Together in voice, rhythm and spirit. Jamaican tradition in the heart of Newport. These are members of the Rastafari indigenous village who've traveled to Wales to help run the festival. There are many elements in reggae music and the culture, the message of the music, that component really do belong to Rastafari. This mission is more than a festival. These kind of things gives us a platform to address inequality. That is what I know from my ancestors. You know, that's what reggae music is about. It's about how human beings can come together in a better way. My parents came over to England, to London, um, in the Windrush era in the 50s. I was in Jamaica and then sent for. So I came back and came into London, went to school in London. And every Easter, practically as a teenager, my father would bring us over to Cardiff. We had friends in Butetown and had very, very strong memories of being a young person in Cardiff and having just an amazing time. We evolved this festival. What we were envisaging is a, creating a bridge, a pathway for all young people to recognize their own history and heritage, whether it be Welsh, to recognize their identity and the importance of language and the importance of culture. Newport charity Urban Circle created the event, forging trusted links with Jamaica while supporting young people here in Wales. I'm Caribbean Welsh, that's how I see and I identify with myself. Um, definitely a Caribbean baby. Um, I have all the islands, Jamaica, Antiguan, St Kitts, um, but I'm born in Wales. Wales is definitely a place where I see as home and it appreciates difference and culture. The whole festival has been led by black educators at the forefront, but also in the sense of making sure that that voice is the authentic, so we had to get those right tutors in to be able to do that. Being able to work with our community, our primary schools, our high schools, our partners and our young people being at the forefront to be able to gain qualifications and then be employed to be a part of the festival infrastructure, I think is a massive component. Three local dance collectives are rehearsing hard as they prepare to share the festival stage. I'm mixed, so half black, half white, St. Kitts and Welsh, so it's kind of like a sort of, it's not just dance hall, it's a sort of togetherness. It brings people together, the music, the dance, the food, everything. I just get a lot of fulfillment in watching like everyone grow in like the process. Just seeing like everything happen, especially in like our home. Is flesh. It's just giving the dancers in the community a platform and a, an opportunity really to experience, you know, the high quality that we're trying to push forward with reggae and rhythm. Just for them to see what's possible out there, the opportunities, and also give them a gateway into, I would personally say, expanding their, their, their mentality to what they can do as a career. For the young people that we have in, on this training piece with us, they now know where this background comes from. They now understand the latest dance of Dirt Bounce, which is in New School Dance Hall, actually travels from generations in the dance world of traditional folk form, which is from Kumina, which is a tribal dance move. So being able to give them that knowledge is not just, oh, let's get together and let's do a dance piece. We're educating them. We're giving them drama skills. We're giving them performance skills. We're giving them a platform. <laughs> Though the festival runs for three days, everyone involved wants its benefits to last much longer. 